configure your KDC to connect to an Android device using Bluetooth's SPP mode, you must first download KT Sync from the Android market to your Android device. Depending on the type of Android device you are using, there might be slight differences in the way you set it up. Now you must enable the Android device to accept data from the KT Sync. From the settings menu, select in this case language and input to enable the KT Sync keyboard option. Select input method and set it to KT Sync keyboard, and then make sure you also set the default to KT Sync keyboard. From your KDC menu, go to Connect Device, set to SPP mode, then save and exit. Next, go to BT Service, make sure Bluetooth Power is enabled, and select Pairing. The screen will say Pairing started. All of the steps above can be performed by going to the Coamtac Quick Manual and scanning the special KDC Bluetooth barcodes for the device you are looking to pair. On the Android device, select Settings, make sure Bluetooth is on, and search for devices. From the list of devices, select the KDC with the correct serial number. After the KDC is paired to the Android device, launch KT Sync. From the KT Sync program, go to Menu, connect and select the KDC with the correct serial number. Now the devices are paired and connected with Bluetooth. Now when you scan a barcode, it goes into the active window of KT Sync. Or press the home key, not the back button, to put KT Sync into the background. You can now run an Android application such as SNote and scanned barcode data will go directly into the application. Congratulations! You have successfully configured your KDC to an Android device using the SPP mode.